Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. It is episode 74 and we are currently over here in the bottom area of my base. This is it, the Mumbo Jumbo, and we are currently in the new industrial cocoa bean farm that I built. Not in the previous episode of Hermitcraft, but in the episode before it. So this is the new room that we constructed. As you can see now, I finally got myself some cocoa beans. A lot of people commented at the end of that video saying, you've built this entire room and you actually haven't placed any cocoa beans down. Yes, I know, I completely forgot about the whole cocoa bean placement thing. So those are now in, and also there's been a few extra improvements to the area. You can see down at the bottom here, we have got an added storage system as well as a zombie. We've got an extra zombie as well. But this little area here is going to be the new, the new fancy storage system for all of these cocoa beans. So that is the plan at the minute, but we are not going to be working on that in today's episode because I have got an extra special plan that I think all of you are really going to quite like. I know that you guys love a bit of pranking, okay? I know that you guys love me to do some pranking. Obviously, I built the Mega Shrek. I hate to say it, this prank isn't really going to compete with Mega Shrek because that thing was absolutely insane. And I don't feel like doing another one of those anytime soon because, yeah, it was quite a long-winded project. Very happy that I did it, but I'm not going to do that one again. Instead, we're going to be pranking Exumavoid. So that means that we're going to have to head over to his base. But first off, we're going to have to gather up some resources because still needs a few. So I feel like I should explain to you guys what I'm actually going to be doing in this prank here, okay? Because as you guys know, Exuma, good friend of mine, has been having a few little computer problems. He's been having graphics card problems. I had graphics card problems recently, and I know how much of a pain it is, okay? I know how painful graphics cards problems are. Not only did my graphics card completely break, just completely boop. Completely broke, but I got myself a new graphics card and that came with its own set of problems You know my BIOS didn't really work with it So I had to do like a BIOS update and then I've just had to refresh the CMOS whatever that means I'm not particularly computer literate, but yeah, it's been a little bit messy. I think I fixed it now There's still a few little teething problems, but long story short graphics card problems are a bit of a pain So what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd help Exuma out a little bit and I thought I'll get him a new graphics card, you know? So I went into the shop, I asked for a graphics card. They said they didn't have any, which is good because after coming out of the shop, I thought to myself, you know what? How on earth would I get this graphics card to Exuma? I don't know his address. I don't know what he looks like. I could go out into the street and start shouting Exuma, but I don't think, you know, the chances are I'm not going to be able to find him that way. So yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to get him a graphics card. So I sat down and I sat there for around about three hours thinking of what I could do. And I've come up with the idea that I'll build him one. Why not build him a graphics card that he can use? So we'll build it at his base. He can then use that graphics card and it should fix all of his problems, okay? It should fix everything and he shouldn't have any graphics card problems from this point forth because he'll have himself a new Mumbo Jumbo certified graphics card. So that is the plan for today's episode and of course that does involve gathering up quite a large number of resources because these, these graphics cards aren't cheap, okay? They're really not cheap, I'm sure you've seen. So we're gonna have to gather up some resources but it should be a lot of fun and it should be hugely beneficial for Exuma because he's going to be getting himself some new equipment. So I just popped over to the iron farm once again because believe it or not, I ran out. Despite the fact that I had that rant in a couple of episodes ago about the fact that I was using a lot of iron, yep, I've run out once again, so I've gathered up myself some more, but also I'm over in the mazer biome right now gathering up some hardened clay because basically all we need for this is we need iron, we need these iron bars, and then some black stained clay and that is most of the resources that we need. There's a few different colored wool as well that we need, but other than that, shouldn't be too difficult. So I'm quickly gonna do all of this, and then I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I do believe I should have everything to do this prank now. I've got all the iron in the world. I've got far too much iron here. I've also got black stained clay. I have got a little bit of diorite, a little bit of andesite as well, which is extremely important. I also have all of these iron bars, a little bit of green and gold for the chips and things. And then finally, I have got a few different colors of things for all the sockets and stuff. So that is, that's basically what I'm going to be doing here. Now I've built a mock-up of what I'm going to be doing in my redstone testing world. And I'll probably pop in and show you that real quick, just so you can get a rough idea of what I'm going to do. But before we do, let's take a look at my previous prank, who is still standing strong. Ah, oh, love that thing. So here's the deal. I want to show you what I'm planning, but I don't want to show you the entire thing because then you would have it all sort of spoiled a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this much of the graphics card, okay? This is the graphics card that we're going to be building. It's based off the Titan, which is a very famous graphics card, and it's a really cool looking graphics card as well. So I've tried my best to recreate that in Minecraft, 
feel like I've done a pretty decent job. I've done a half decent job at least. It does look like a graphics card, so that's a positive thing. So yes, that is all you're getting. Now let's pop back onto the Hermitcraft server, head over to Exuma's base, and start building this thing. So, here we are. This is Exuma Void's base. If you have not seen Exuma Void's base before, then this is it. Now, Exuma is one of those people who actually has gone for an extremely long time without having a base, okay? He's always had various locations that he's working at, for example, at Hermit Hills, then he worked over at the Rainbow Fall, gigantic sheep farm type thing, and it's only fairly recently that he's actually got himself a proper base area, which means that he's now susceptible to pranking, okay? Beforehand, it was a little bit difficult to prank Exuma because he never knew where he was working. Now he's actually got a place where he is, He's getting pranked, okay? So what he's got is he's got his storage area here. This is all the, the new stuff. And then down at the bottom, it looks like he's working on a new place down there. And then if we head up to the top, you can see he has got a little house over in this section over here. And then, of course, a massive beacon because this is Exuma and he has to have every single power-up imaginable just because he can. So, yeah, that is basically everything at the minute. And I'm trying to think, where should this graphics card go? I don't really know. I feel like I should build it either above his house or it would have been perfect to build it in this little oval section, but I have a feeling that the build won't actually fit inside this area here, which means that that wouldn't really work. So I'm thinking either above the house or above this area. Hmm. It's a little bit tricky. Try my best to think. So I decided to ignore my first two ideas and I went for something completely different and that is building this thing over here. So this is going to be in full view. As soon as he comes through that nether portal, he's going to be able to see this thing, which is absolutely perfect. And you know what? I'm going to sleep real quick. But what I've built already, you can see there was a little bit of a construction there, is I've built the back plate. Okay, this is the, the back plate, you know, where all the, the plugs, plugs and things go in. The plugs go right in. I know, I'm, as I say, not particularly technology literate, but that's that's what I'm talking about. You know, DVI ports, HDMI ports, that sort of thing. The plugs and stuff, they go into that area there. So we've got a few DVI ports on the side, and then we have some HDMI ports as well, because, of course, this is a graphics card. It's not going to be dealing with audio or anything like that. So there is the backplate. Now we just have to build the card itself, and we should be all done. Alright guys, so I have essentially built a large amount of the template area here, so as you can see, we have got the back plate, you've already seen that one, but also we have the outer casing, that now goes right the way up to the top, and this is at the full length of our graphics card, so as you can see, it's not small, okay, it is not a small build, this is going to be fairly large, it's not quite Mega Shrek size, alright, but nothing, nothing is ever going to be quite Mega Shrek size, instead, this is like a, a medium sized graphics card, and it's coming together fairly nicely, but you know what? I don't personally think that doing these sorts of jump cuts is particularly working, all right? This is the sort of build that definitely requires a third-person time-lapse. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be getting our groovy tunes back on. I know that you guys really enjoyed them. I've stepped up my game a little bit in terms of music recently, and it's, it's come in very positively. So, yep, yeah, we're going to be smacking on the groovy tunes. I am going to be building this thing, and hopefully it ends up looking pretty good. What a do, what a do, da da do, da da do. What a do, what a do, da da do, da da do. What a do, what a do, da da do, da da do.
So the graphics card has been fully constructed. Now I'm just in the process of taking out Exuma's beacons. I, I like the power-ups, okay? I really like the power-ups, but they were obstructing the view a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I will chuck them down somewhere. Please remind me to do that because I don't want to steal all of his beacons. That's not what I want to do. But anyway, let's walk over to, let's say, the nether portal. The nether portal would be a good place to start because this is where Exuma is going to be coming in. So let's see what sort of view he gets from here. Yep, that is definitely graphics card. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Okay, so that is the graphics card. As I say, it is based on the Titan, which is like a, a crazy graphics card. I think it's got like six gigabytes of GPU RAM, which is just absolutely mental. So yeah, I decided to build that one because, you know, we might as well give Exuma the best one on the market. And it looks, it looks pretty sweet. It looks like a graphics card. I would say that looks like a graphics card. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just because I built it. But if someone built that in my base, I'd probably guess that it was a graphics card, especially if I'd recently been having some graphics card problems. That would generally be a bit of a hint. So there we go. That is the thing. Now I am thinking, maybe we should add some extra bits. Now, there is a thing that you can do to graphics cards. Obviously, you know, we do have a fan there, okay? That is meant to be a fan. But you can, if you want to, liquid cool graphics cards, okay? It's pretty expensive and it's fairly complicated, especially for someone like me who doesn't know how to do any of that sort of stuff. But I do know that you can liquid cool graphics cards if you want to. So what I thought we'd do is I thought we would create a liquid cooling loop using like glass and water and run that in perhaps into the top, into the top of the graphics card up at the top there and then maybe have like an output out the back maybe. I think that would look pretty cool. It would be like a nice little detail that we could add into the build and it would just be a little bit of fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to my base, pick up some glass because I want to have like brightly colored glass because that's what generally these liquid cool type stuff does. So I think that's a good idea. Yeah, let's get to it. So the first liquid cooling tube is just in the process of going in. I think I'm placing in the final blocks here, just covering up all of our water or all of the liquid in the cooling loop. Let's just place these in. And the final ones now, oh, there's a slime down there. Oh yeah, I suppose this is a swamp, so I guess they can spawn. But there we go, right, okay, so that is our first liquid cooling tube. Let's see how this looks. Now, I'm going to be honest, I put it slightly in front of the build. And, hang on, let me let me get a little bit further away. We'll kill that zombie there, and let's see if I actually like this. If not, I guess I'll just have to take it down, but here we go. Oh, that looks awesome! That looks so cool! Oh, wicked! That is, that is perfect. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to add another one in, and I guess I'll take that, like, slightly further out, and then out and round, and put that one down into the ground as well. And then we'll have ourselves like two liquid cooling tubes going down into our graphics car. I can't get over how good that looks. Oh, that is perfect. That is exactly how I imagined it. I can imagine it looks even better in the day as well. So I'll quickly go to bed. But yeah, that looks that looks really good. Okay, that really does look very good. I'm pretty impressed with how that looks. Let's see what it looks like here. If we can get out of the chest. Eh, eh, eh. Cool. Okay, very bright green. Perfect. I love it. Right, okay, let's work on the next tube. And that will be everything done. Progress update. I have run out of both glass and water. So I'm going to have to go back and gather up some of that. Obviously, the, the water is easy. Okay, I could just walk over to this lake. But sadly, I cannot just acquire glass out of nowhere. So that means we're going to have to head back over to the base. But it's looking good. It is looking good. This second liquid cooler sort of pops up like this. Goes across like this and goes into that side over there. And I think it looks nice. I'm really, really happy with how this is all turning out. So yeah, I guess all I have to do now, head back to the base, pick up some glass, and do it all again. So I think that should just about do it. We've got 29 blocks of glass left, so let's just pop around like this. I've placed in all of the water now, so let's just make our way around our little liquid cooling unit. Oh, I don't know, 16 left, 13 left, 11 left. Yeah, I think we're just about going to be able to do this. Right, okay, now I've got to make sure to take out all of the dirt that I've placed, so that can all go. And there should be a dirt tower here. Yep. Good. Right. Let's head down to the bottom. And let's do the same old, same old thing. Okay. We're going to walk away a little bit. And we're going to see how this all looks. Are you ready? Prepare your eyeballs and your earballs. Because we're about to see something amazing. Awesome. Cool. I don't know if I like that one quite as much as I like this one over here. I think that was just like the perfect placement. This one was a little bit further away because it had to meet the hill. 
but that looks cool that looks so very cool and it does definitely look like a graphics card so now what we have to do is we have to do the standard prank stuff we have to place down all the signs we have to say who did it and explain what the prank is all about just in case he doesn't quite realize so yeah i will probably do that in this sort of area here i guess i guess that will make sense so that you can clearly see it so yeah let's get to it so there we have it ladies and gents the prank is now officially completed as soon as the signs are in that's when you know that you're finished. Let me just read them out. Dear Exuma, I heard that you have recently been having GPU issues, so I thought I would fix them by building you a new one. It's even got liquid cooling. Mumbo. So there we go. That is everything in. I do apologize that you have got yourself some graphics card problems. Unfortunately, despite the fact that I have built you a new graphics card, I don't think that's going to fix your problems. I know how it feels to have graphics card problems. It's a massive pain, and I really do hope everything goes smoothly for you because it, they're so difficult. It's so difficult. I'm rubbish with computers. Exuma, you are better at computers than I am, so I'm sure you'll be able to fix any other problems that you've got. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Hermitcraft. I very rarely do prank videos, so let me know down in the comments section if you've enjoyed it. And most importantly, if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.